All right, day in the life part, I don't even know. But today I'm gonna show you guys what a typical day at Western looks like and take you guys through all this stuff. So the first lecture of the day is my physiology lecture. Show you guys a little bit in class. Let's go. Okay, so I'm officially back in my place right now. Finished my physiology lecture. Not gonna lie, it was pretty confusing, but that's why I like to take some time now to quickly just go over the lecture again on my own terms. So I'm gonna do that right now, set that up, and then continue with the day. Let's make today great. Also for my avid book readers, today I picked up how to win friends and influence people. Hopefully I have some time throughout the semester to just read it on some downtime. And I haven't read this book yet, but very, very mainstream. I heard really good things about it. So I'll let you guys know my thoughts. Give me like a couple weeks because university is very busy and I don't always have the free time to read. All right, YouTube. So I'm practically all set up. I'm gonna take some time right now to do some work after lecture where I just kind of like go through the material that I just learned. A lot of times within my program, the information just doesn't come to me very straightforward. I have to go and sit with it for a while, understand it on my own, and then it sort of makes sense. So I'll do that right now. And then we'll grab lunch and continue with the rest of the day. Peace. One thing about me is I eat quite a bit, so let's go grab some food from the calf, see what's cooking up for lunch, and enjoy. Also, before I grab lunch, I want to let you guys know something kind of interesting, but if you're planning on coming to Western or university or whatnot, we get these things called our student ID, which is like my meal plan or like a credit card that you can use to purchase food with. And it's funny because a lot of students feel like their credit card is not real money or it's unlimited, but trust me, being in residence for a few years, you gotta be smart with how you spend your money. High performance tip for sure, because I only have like, a, like 20 bucks on my card, which is not good, but I've been using it all throughout the year for food. So I have to kind of refill it. But if you're not smart, with it it can go a lot faster than that so that's something that i even think about when i go to eat like instead of grabbing juice all the time it can be water or something else to kind of substitute and save your money can i do some chicken please Okay, so I've been working at my desk for about 30 minutes after lunch, realizing that I'm feeling a little bit tired and lethargic. And normally when that happens to me personally, I like to change my location. That has been a huge high performance tip for me to really regain my focus again. So we're gonna pack up, go on campus, find a better place to study, and hopefully that helps boost my energy and we can continue to do more productive work. Let's go. Also, what's crazy about today is my professors for one of my courses decided to cancel class today, which gives me two hours that I normally don't have on Monday to kind of do other work. So I'm gonna try to use that time effectively and productive today as well. So let's pack up, go on campus, let's go. All right, YouTube, so I'm on campus right now. Gonna go find a place to study. Weather is beautiful, sun's out, students are going to classes and all that. So I'm gonna show you around, let's go. So I'm at the UCC, which is the University Community Center, and it's always busy. I think of this place like a shopping mall. I was talking to a panel for students who are interested in to go to medicine. Whenever you go to the UCC, you always spend more time than you plan to because everyone's talking to you. You probably see a lot of friends in different programs, but now I'm going to the room to officially study. So let's go there, let's do it.
studying at that study space. Now I'm going back home to just eat and kind of recoup because I have one more class to go to today and it's a three hour lecture. So it's gonna take a lot of energy out of me. So let's go back home, eat some dinner and then go to class. All right, YouTube, so I'm back at my place right now. I finished having some dinner, which filled up my stomach pretty nicely. And now I have about half an hour before I have another class, as I mentioned before, the three hour lecture. But I wanna run through a high performance tip with all of you that's really helped me do better in university and stay organized. And it's my organizational system that I'm gonna show you. So how I like to organize my stuff is basically in three steps. Throughout my day, I do a daily planner and that's right from my laptop. So this kind of outlines all the things I have to do throughout the day and it really helps me because it gives me direction throughout my day. I know at what time I'm supposed to be where, and I try to make sure that calendar is flexible, but efficient. So the second thing I do is I use this monthly calendar right here. Essentially, it's a dry erase marker. You can erase it, write in your dates, and go as you please, but it's really helpful to get a quick overview and snapshot of the entire month. And it's good to look at throughout the week. So I'm really aware of what's going on, what's to come, when this assignment's due, and it helps me stay on the ball game of just all the business, busy stuff at university. And the last thing that I use is this four month calendar. Um, as you can see, it's pretty empty. Normally I use it for like my major exams, but that's a system that works well for me personally. And I highly encourage you all to like develop your own organizational system, whether it's online, whether it's a monthly calendar like that, because as a student who works on campus, you know, is a part of multiple clubs and is studying within a program that is pretty academically intense, being organized is absolutely essential so you can one prioritize everything that you need to prioritize but two not miss anything important so i hope that helps you out up and leave take a lot of courage just to live out your dreams bigger picture i could see if i just close my eyes have the foresight to Okay, last class of the day. It's my business marketing class, my elective class, and I hope it's a good one. It's gonna be a three hour lecture. Scenes are nice on campus, weather's still good, so let's go. Okay, so I'm back from class. Funny story. Well, I don't know how funny it is, but my business professor decided to cancel today's class. Basically, he got to class and he wasn't able to get the screen or PowerPoint slides to be working. So he's like, all right, I guess class is canceled for the day, which is kind of crazy because Mondays are normally my most busiest day. And I have two classes that were canceled today. Instead, I just did some work during that time period. What's kind of interesting about class being canceled, you think a lot of students would be happy and exciting, but then you also realize that you are paying for all of these classes. So my mind goes, goes, ah, yeah, class being canceled is all right. I guess I can do some other work, but at the same time, I am paying for these classes to help me learn for the exams and the midterms and stuff. So it's almost like a bittersweet thing. But anyways, now that class is canceled, I'm gonna try to maximize this time as best as possible. Basically all day, I really just been doing work. And when I film these videos, I try to give you all a realistic expectation of what university is like. It fluctuates from time to time, but majority of my day to day is me just doing work. Lots and lots and lots of work. And the work itself is actually good. Like I don't despise the work it's just a lot and you have to be consistently on it i know sometimes i post videos when i'm attending events and stuff like that and that doesn't happen every single day majority of the days like i mentioned are me just grinding focusing on school and trying to do the best i can because if you don't stay consistent with it it will pile up like a snowball and absolutely just become so overwhelming that it would be hard to stay focused so I'm gonna go back to the, doing some more work. I have a few other things I want to do today that I didn't get to yet, but we'll get to them very shortly and let's make it work. Well, I know in the last clip, I just mentioned how most of my days are filled with work, but this week was special because we had a live concert from none other than Quavo performing. So of course I recorded it for all of you. Let's go. Now the concert was great and it's pretty rare for a big artist to come to our school. I asked the president how much the school paid to have Quavo perform and I was told that the school paid $200,000. I want to know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Is Quavo worth that much? Now I have to say our school did a great job this year because we had performances from three mega artists. So shout out to the student council. 
The tickets for the concert were $40 each and they sold out on the first day. I knew moments like these don't happen every day in our school so I try to take advantage of these events and really just enjoy myself. And if you're a student and your school's hosting large events like this, I highly encourage you to try your best to go, especially if you can make it, because looking back at your school career, you won't remember that exam or what you got on that one assignment, but you will remember events like this to really make the most of it. And that wraps up another day here at university. I hope you all enjoyed today's day in a life. Got some insights about Western and some of the things that I shared with you. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe as we continue to grow this channel. And thank you for all the support. And as I always say, make sure to always believe that you will achieve. My name is Miles and I'm signing off. Woo!